I'm Norbert Gleicher, MD, and I'm the Medical Director and Chief Scientist here at the Center for Human Reproduction in New York City. It's a pleasure being here, and I want to talk to you today about a very important subject, also one of probably the most important, potentially the most controversial issue in current day IVF practice. And we have, in many of our videos, addressed the controversial issue of uh, testing human embryos prior to transfer for chromosomal abnormalities. Those of you who have watched some of my own videos or some of my colleagues uh, know that we, for the longest time, have not been big fans uh, of this test. And uh, we, we are at a moment uh, where, at least on a superficial basis, we uh, could, could be very satisfied uh, with our position over the last 10 plus years on the subject because the field is basically coming around to our view uh, of looking the concept of testing human embryos for chromosomal abnormalities. There have been uh, some recent studies and there are some more studies in the pipeline that soon will be published, uh, which quite definitely show the very severe limitations um, these uh, tests have and uh, the unwanted consequences uh, from such testing, such as the discarding of large numbers of perfectly usable embryos. And this last point is what I want to talk to you about. We see every day here at CHR patients who at other centers have gone through in vitro fertilization cycles uh, and either were found to have only chromosomally abnormal embryos, or at least uh, in a large majority chromosomally abnormal embryos. And uh, whenever you consent to the testing of your embryos for chromosomal abnormalities, the consent forms that you are asked to sign usually contain your consent to discard, to dispose of abnormal embryos, meaning if an embryo is determined uh, to be chromosomally abnormal, basically your IVF center, through your signature that you gave them when you initially consented to having your embryos tested, your center is also entitled, if it gets a report back from a genetic testing laboratory that a given embryo is chromosomally abnormal, your center is entitled to simply discard that embryo. They do no longer have to get back to you to ask you, do you really want them disposed of? They could dispose of those. And until rather recently, most center did that. But fortunately, in the last few months, again, after some very important studies have appeared in the literature that are slowly changing the, the understanding of what this testing really can and cannot do, an increasing number of IVF centers have become hesitant of immediately discarding their embryos. And Therefore, what we want you to consider as a consequence of this video today is that you call up your IVF center where you may have such embryos still cryopreserved. Don't assume that just because you gave the consent for disposal of these embryos that has happened. Check with your IVF center whether those embryos really have been disposed of already. And if your so-called abnormal embryos have not been disposed yet, my strong recommendation is that you tell your IVF center 
that you changed your mind and you reverse your consent. You're entitled to do that. And if you have so-called abnormal embryos, cryopreserved, and you send us a note or you make a consultation with one of our physicians, we will be very, very happy once you give us that information about what the chromosomal abnormalities were that were alleged in your embryos, we will be very happy to tell you whether we think that those embryos may not be transferable after all. Why do I say that? Because there are hundreds of chromosomally normal babies born now worldwide from transfer of so-called chromosomally abnormal embryos. Now, not every embryo can and should be transferred. Not every abnormal embryo can or should be transferred. But many can and will give you surprisingly good, healthy pregnancy rates. Our Center prides itself to have been the first one in the world to start transferring such abnormal embryos as early as in 2014. By 2015, we and some colleagues who were working with us here in New York City were reporting the first five healthy pregnancies from such transfers. As I said, the recent survey demonstrated over 400 healthy babies born already. We have had close to roughly 20, or by now probably over 20, pregnancies uh, from such transfers. So please, if you have frozen embryos that were declared abnormal, don't let them simply be thrown out. Check with us before that happens. Thanks for listening.